Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl the Rich with Divine Feminine. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a blessed and prosperous day on today. I come with a quick little message for, my, for you guys. My message today is trust in Him when you don't understand. Scripture coming from Hebrews 11, 39 to 40, and it says, These were all commanded for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised. God had planned something better for us, so that the only together with us would they be made perfect. There's no question, sometimes God's way seems difficult to understand. Maybe you're suffering the death of a child, the betrayal of a spouse, the illness that threatened your life. Do you need a, to, uh, a reminder to trust God even when you don't understand? Even when nothing seems to make sense. In Romans 8.28, Paul wrote, We know that the things all that that in all things God works together for the good of those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. Okay, that brokenness leads you to a blessing, y'all. The death leads to life. The suffering leads to glory. God gives meaning to your meaningless, hope to your hopeless, and reason to your senseless, deliverance from your bitterness. So trust him, even when you don't understand. He knows what he's doing. Even in the midst of your storm, when you can't see where you're going, you need to trust in God. Even in the midst of your pain and you trying to heal, trust in God. Even in the backstabbing, the betrayal, trust in God. It doesn't matter what it is. You're in a financial crisis, trust in God. Your, your body is hurting, trust in God. You, your children acting up, trust in God. Your spouse out here cheating, trust in God. Your relationship is failing, trust in God. You're losing your house, trust in God. See, oftentimes we want to put our trust in man and man going to fail you every time. But when you put your trust in God, God always make a way out of no way for you. You see, let me tell you something. That same person, that same person they might do all kind of stuff to you. Be the same person that God makes take care of you. That God makes come back and bless you when you put your trust in God. See, you put your problems, your worries, your cares, put all that in his hands. Say, Father God, I lay it at your feet. Leave all your problems, your worries right there at his feet and let him work it out. You getting it, look, people bothering you and harassing you at your job, trying to stop you from working, trying to stop you from feeding your family. Put that trust in the Lord and let God fight your battles. You understand what I'm saying? You got, you got bills and school getting ready to start. You got all these school fees up. Your money is funny, baby. You're trying to do something strange for a little piece of change. Don't do none of that. Trust in God. He will make a way out of no way for you, baby. Let me tell you, God will make every crooked path in your life straight. God, I didn't seen God do it. God will take, take that zero that's in your bank account and add five other zeros to it. And you have all the money that you need when you trust in him. God will always keep a ram in a bush for you when you trust in him. He says, seek ye the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and everything shall be added to you. You see, you got to seek him early in the morning. You got to seek him in the evening. You got to seek him late at night, baby. You got to seek him. I'm talking about call on him and let him know, God, without you, without you, Lord God, I'm nothing. God, but with you, I'm everything. With you, I can conquer everything. But by myself, Lord God, I can't do it. I can't get from point A to point B without you, Lord God. So, God, Father God, I need you to help me surrender to me. I need me to get out of my own way, Lord God, and allow you to lead and guide me. Allow you to minister to me. Allow you to order my step, Lord Jesus. Because guess what God said? The path of the righteousness. You heard me? The path of the righteousness. Get on the right path. Get on the right path, Father God. You got to learn to continue to look up to the hills which come with your help. And all your health coming from the Lord. Yes, it might be hard. Especially when you've do, been doing your stuff the way you've been doing it for years. A lot of people are not subject to change. But I'm here to tell you, baby, when you make this change, when you put your trust and your faith in God, baby, things happens in your life. Some of y'all... Some of y'all parents are sick right now. Maybe you put that faith in your trust in the Lord and watch how God heal them. Because he says by his stripes, you are healed, baby. By his stripes. Some of y'all looking at prison time, baby. Put your faith in God. He the only one can open that door. I seen him do it. He can turn them 25 years into five years of probation. You understand? I don't know who needs to hear that. But God can turn any situation around when you put your trust in him.
Put your trust in him wholeheartedly. Not putting your trust in him because you want him to do something for you. Put your trust in him because you know he's all in all. You know that he's the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. You know that he's the King of King and the Lords of Lords. You heard me? Jehovah Jireh, your provider. You need to know this, baby. Somebody needs to know that God is all you have in the midst of all your storms, in the midst of all your situation, in the midst of all the problems that you're going through. God is all you have. You said it running to this person and that person and this family member to this fake friend to this and this instead of running to God. He's standing there with his arms wide open and say, my son and my daughter, I'm here for you. Call upon me. Baby, he said, knock and he shall answer. Ask and you shall receive, baby, as long as you're not asking with a, in a mist. Baby, so make your request known unto him, baby. You want God to bless you financially, long as you ain't doing it with no evil intent. You want God to uh, bless you so you can take care of your children, not to shit on nobody else, baby. Because somebody needs to understand this. Is it different when you're asking God for something? Don't ask God for nothing with no ill intent in your heart, your mind, no none of that. Because he knows all and he's going to delay what you're trying to ask him for because you got an ill intent. You want God to give you this and give you that so you can eat on somebody else. No sir, no ma'am, no press ham. That's not what we're doing, baby. What we're doing is staying focused and we're thanking God for the blessings that he has bestowed upon us. We're not, the blessing that God has bestowed upon us is for us. Not for us to try to outshine and not do anybody else, but it's for us to take care of our responsibilities to get where we need to be. Not to try to pick and throw to nobody else's face that we have this and we have that because God give it and he'll take it away. One day you may up and the next day you may be down. So baby, that's why it all comes with humbling thyself, baby. When you humble yourself, baby, God will see. God said, if you're faithful over a little, he will bless you with plenty, baby. So guess what? I don't care if every week, every week you might be making $500 on a paycheck, baby. But you're making that pay, that $500 stretch to the next pay period, baby. Guess what? God see your faithfulness over a little. So he's going to bless you with plenty. When I tell you he's going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have no room to receive, your storehouse share run it over. I keep telling y'all. This year right here is your year, baby. This year is your breakthrough. The, the last of these months right here of this year, baby, overflow of blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings. Strangers going to be coming out of the way blessing you because God has been laid it on, your heart, on their heart to come and bless you. People going to be blessing you with all kind of things, baby, because God seen you. God seen you. God seen you through your struggle. He seen you through your pain. He seen where you was going. He seen how you kept fighting. You was determined to get somewhere. You was determined to do what God has called you to do. And because you was determined to do all that, God is getting ready to bless you. He's getting ready to bless you tremendously. Hold on to God's unchanging hands. Hold on to God's unchanging hands. Because trouble, they never last always. You might be. You might be in a storm right now, but I promise you, you're on your way out. Just hold on and keep pressing your way forward. I know it get heavy. I know the bags get, get tough on your back, but baby, guess what? You're not carrying nobody else's burdens. You're carrying yours and allow God to work it out for you. Allow God to move on your behalf because God is going to take care of you. God got you. He got you by all means necessary. Continue to pray. I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying with you guys. Just know. The battle's not yours, it's the Lord's, and know that God is going to make a way out of no way. Trust Him, even when you don't understand. It's your girl, the Real True Divine Feminine. Thank you for visiting my channel. Peace.